then explores um, American citizens who take on the role of protecting our way of life. The FBI works more within the boundaries of the United States and North America, and the CIA is, has a more global perspective. These two entity, entities are incredibly powerful, knowledgeable, um, but they oftentimes go head to head because their work interferes with um, the other's greater plan. The FBI, Will Keaton specifically, is made to uh, employ the help of Erica Shepard. It's complicated because Erica Shepard is the deputy director, was the deputy director of the CIA before she was serving 15 life sentences for treason against the United States. Erica Shepard leads Keaton to believe that her reasoning for making the choices that she made were to save her daughter. And that may or may not be true. That's the, uh, that's sort of the, at the crux of espionage and um, spy hunting is who can you trust and um, what sort of craftsmanship are they using to pivot you in one direction or another. As an audience member from week to week, living rooms may be split down the middle and one week you may be on one side of the couch and the next week you'll walk across to the other. You may empathize with Keaton, uh, you may understand Erica's strategy, you may empathize with Erica and switch next week. Um, I think a lot of people will be uh, hooked or lassoed by the idea that Erica did what any parent would do, which was um, come to her daughter's rescue at any cost, at any price. Keaton and Erica have more than their grief in common. They, um, they both truly want the best for America and her citizens. Um, and we both have a common goal, which is Mikhail Tall, who has coordinated thousands of sleeper spies across the country. And he's been on the hunt for Tall for many years. I was on the hunt for Tall um, before I was convicted. So there's this strange alliance that we have um, with our how stealthy we are, how, out, how far outside of the box they, we both think about uh, different ways to, to plan an attack to, to get to Tall. This is um, more like everyday life. But certain things will remain the same. You'll see the same people, you have the same cup of coffee every morning, but it acts like real life. It, uh, the, the show doesn't have a formulaic um, setup. So you experience it like you do with real life, where there's a surprise around every corner, every second. It's moment to moment. And do I trust this person? Do I feel allegiance to this person? Do I care if, if she gets to be with her daughter or not? Like, it's, uh, it all comes back to the, to the audience. And nobody's spoon-feeding anybody anything.